helicopter, which is loaded aboard a C-130, incidentally. The lead frogs will be jumping from the MH-53 to the ramp of the C-130, and then they will be skydiving toward the ground. And here to tell you all about it, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Chief Robert Feinberg from the United States Navy, the lead frog. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you're about to witness an amazing display of precision teamwork. Who better for such a demonstration than members of the finest military in the world, the finest Navy in the world. Good morning, I'm Chief Robert Feinberg on behalf of the United States Navy, the Navy Recruiting Command, and the Naval Special Warfare Community. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you high overhead, the United States Navy Parachute Team the Leap Frog. If you direct your attention skyward, you can see the jumpers have exited. B-130, and are making their way into the landing area. They have red smoke trailing from their ankle brackets, so you can clearly identify them high in the sky. The United States Navy Leap Frogs got their start in 1969, when members of the Special Warfare community began jumping at air shows on the weekend. By 1974, the Department of Defense had officially recognized the team and the Leap Frogs had been established. The Lee Frog team is comprised of SEAL, Sea, Air, and Land Commandos, and SWIFT, Special Warfare Combatant Craft Proven. These men are all highly trained operatives, skilled in weapons, special operations, demolitions, and of course, parachuting. If you direct your attention skyward, you can see two of our jumpers are trailing what we call hanging smoke. That's the two jumpers with the six scope brackets trailing from their ankles for your visual delight. Also, coming in, is an all-yellow canopy. That is what we call our low man. You'll come in before the other jumpers to allow them to the to see what the winds on the ground are like. He also has a slightly smaller canopy than the others and will come in at approximately 45 miles per hour. The other two jumpers up in the sky are in what we call a side-by-side -side formation. They'll be breaking that formation over the show area and transitioning into what we call a one-legged down plane sending four years at 60 miles per hour. All right, here comes that low man into the area. Once again, he's going to control his descent, go pull on left and right steering toggles to slow down and at the best possible stand up landing. This is Chief JT Ledbetter. I want you to make a little noise for him as he comes in. There's a nice, perfect stand up landing. The next two jumpers high overhead are in that side by side transition. They're going to come down. Here they go. They're swinging down into what we call the down plane. They're now dropping directly toward the earth at 60 miles per hour. This is Lieutenant Jeff Reed and Chief Dave Casper. They've now broken apart. They're going to strap away and make their own safe entries into the landing area. You'll make a little noise as each jumper comes in. They'll know that you appreciate them, and they'll also know where they're supposed to land at. They'll now come in. This is Petty Officer John Huff and John Murray. They'll make their way into the landing area. The United States Navy Lee Frog do these performances throughout the United States during the year. We're having duty performances for you at all times. You can always find out more information about the team by going to our website at leapfrogs.navy.hill. Following our performance, the Lee Frogs will be at the Navy booth directly behind this announcer booth in approximately one half hour. The team is also happy to have his first therapy rigger on the team. That's Petty Officer Tuck, one of the two jumpers about to land. He maintains all the aviation support equipment for the team throughout the year. All right, folks, let's hear from these next two jumpers as they come in. As our final jumper comes into the landing area, I'd like to take this moment once again to thank you. 
I think maybe Lee Crocker happened to do this performance of 40 throughout the U.S. Woo.